In the deep dark hills of eastern Kentucky At the place where I trace my bloodline And it's there that I read Well welcome back to Kentucky Cooner. This is September the 7th. It is 68 degrees and I'm glad to admit that it's kind of chilly out here. It's 68, wherever they take these readings from, I'm not sure where it is, but down in these hollers, I'd say it's in the very low 60s. We may even get to hit a high 50s, I'm not sure. But in the truck tonight, I have Ranger, May, and my little dog Harlan, you guys have seen him. I have one more dog that you all might have seen me go pick up. It's called Glancy's American Honey. She's out of Molly and Mojo Mason. I'm gonna hunt her tonight and see what she does. She's never even seen a coon and never been in the woods. I went and got her just a while back and she had never been hunted, but I'm gonna take and get some of these dogs in the woods. Y'all thanks for watching. This is Kentucky Cooner. These first two dogs I'm getting ready to get out. My old man Ranger. Well, my pup I was telling you about, Lance's American Hunter. Where he took a pretty girl to be his bride. Won't you walk with me? Let him out of this hollow. We'll never leave home. Right here's Honey, a little female. Where the sun comes Anybody watching this channel, y'all seen him before. He is a coon tree and machine. Get in there, honey. Ranger's 132 yards. Uh, honey is 80. She followed him down through there. Uh, normally when you see him get separated like that with a young dog, the young dog will eventually be back here, but she ain't back yet. Let's see where she's at. He's 85 now, Ranger's 189. There's a big creek down here I like to get them on where they can stay nice and cool, which tonight it ain't too bad, but that's where the coons are gonna be at down on the creek. Got them in the woods. Hopefully they put them on the wood. I'll let you know when Ranger gets struck in. Well, honey, just come back up to the truck here and Ranger struck in at 99 yards. As soon as she got back up here, now she's 34 yards. Maybe she's headed to him. Nope, she ain't. But he's went. He went down to the creek, come back up here. Now he's directly. Opposite way of turning. He's 168 yards now. And there's one thing for sure. There's a lot of cedar trees there. And I better get my coon squatter out. I turn the camera around here. You all might be able to hear Ranger running. He's just right over here. 178 yards. Got my coon squaller out like I told you. The squaller you're gonna be hearing tonight is the Coon Toons Coon Squaller. Acrylic double reed squaller, they sound pretty nice. I just got some of them new uh, GNR Macho Squallers in. But I have yet to be able to get one out and hunt with it. Sound like he's got a good track. Hopefully y'all can hear him. There he is. He is now 215 yards. As soon as he gets treed, I'll let you guys know so we don't 
sit here and make this video two hours long. I'll let you all know when he's treed. Uh, here's a little quick tip. The pups come back to the truck. Don't let them sit and mill around. Jump on the truck. Load them up. Sometimes I get bad not doing this myself, but it's the best thing for them. That is your Kentucky Cooler. Quick tip of the night. Let's sit here and this is the ranger to tree. You guys can see right here where ranger has ran. There was the creek. He come back up, struck right in here. He's run that track around. I just got in my truck. I was afraid he was going to get up here around these houses and I was half gonna have to get in there and get him or something but if he trees down in here I got a pretty good walk around this field but down there's where all the cedars are at so that's what's going on here he's 247 yards well the old man is treed he's down on that drain right there so you probably can't hear him but He's treed 310 yards. I'm gonna get honey out of the truck. I'm heading there and try to find us a coon. What are you doing, honey? What are you doing, honey? I got her out of the truck and I'll show you with this laser. She's right in there. That was the little night trace technology from the new Bright Eyes Fusion. You can see these walk lights are just amazing on this light. Let me show you where your pups are at. 116 yards from him. He's right through there treeing. But where I got that laser pointing. The good news is He's kind of pretty much on the edge of a field. Hopefully, I can get the coon to look pretty easy. I've got my red light on. Hoping the coon will look like this. We're walking in here. Of course, he may be farther in the wood line. Seen nothing look yet. <laughs> this field's thick. And I think he's a couple trees in. I hope I can get it to look, but I'm gonna go on down in here and see what trees on. And See if I can find his coon. This tree has all kinds of holes in it. Right there's one. Right there's more holes. But we could get lucky and see it on the outside. Looks like somebody put some brand new electric through there. I'm going to get Ranger off this tree. Come here, old man. It's got to be on the inside. Of course, I can only shine part of the tree, so. Who knows? 
I'm gonna get him out of here. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Heard more out there. We're on our way back to the truck. I'm breathing hard. Tree was back that way. Truck is that way. So I'm gonna try to go through here so I don't have to walk up such a steep hill on the way back to the truck. Whole Ranger look good. We can't help to get a den tree. Just got ranger and honey. Hot. Loading back up the truck. I'm gonna try to stay on this same farm and take May and little Harlan here and send them a different direction. I'm gonna drive up the field a little piece where they can't smell where these other dogs have been and I'm gonna turn them a uh, different direction. Let's go get them out. Like I said, I'm just driving up here a little piece and gonna turn on that right hand side. There's coons in there, but they're pretty deep, I would imagine. I would say we won't get a close strike. See that stuff glowing up there in the field? Them's hay bales, I never did see hay bale string that glows in the dark. Makes it pretty handy not to run into it at night time. Like that one right there in front of me, I guess I could just plow right through it. Hopefully May and Harlan gets in here and trees the coon fast. And both of them do a real job when we get in there and see the coon. I'm thinking I left my leaf strap back there. I'm gonna have to go back there and get that before I leave out of here. Well, I just got the dogs turned loose right over here. I forgot to hit the record button, but they're gone. I'm gonna have to go back before I leave this place and get my other lead. I'm bad to put the dogs in the truck and leave the leads laying on the ground. What do you think, Ranger? Harlan and May is headed the way I'm wanting to. I'm gonna show you right here on the dog to Pathfinder. Right there's where I turned Ranger loose. He went down and came around and treed right there. I drove up in the field and dropped May and uh, Harlan loose, but you see that runs down right here to the creek that I tried to send Ranger down. He never, he went to the creek and come back up. So hopefully they get a coon tree. There's a lot of cedar trees in there, which makes it bad. I hate the tree and cedar trees. I hate tree and den trees like I did with Ranger just now, but you'll have that. Season will be here. October 1st, less than a month away, we can start uh, harvesting some coon. They're right now 193 yards. May and Harlan, he's a hunting good. I'm gonna turn off his camera and I'll let y'all know when he gets struck in. May just got struck in. She's 758 yards. Glad she got struck in, but uh, that's a walk through there. You guys might be able to hear the dogs there. 
0 0.56, a little over half a mile away. Both dogs are treed. I'm going to drive down this field a little bit and drop down the creek. It's going to be a walk. When you're packing coon dogs, this is stuff you go through. Let's get in there to them. I'm driving down to the creek. That way when I get down to the creek, I can turn right. I'm not sure how far it's going to be when I get down there. But when I get back to the bottom of this hill, I ain't gonna have to walk back up it. Every little bit's gonna help on this trip. Creek's over in here and the dogs was 728 yards from the truck right there. It's a long walk. A lot of field walking. Hopefully, they had that up there cut down. Hopefully, this field's cut down. That's good. It don't look that bad. Seven hundred and twenty eight yard walk. Set my Garmin Phoenix three right there. Just in case I lose my phone or something happens, I can get back to the truck. It's a good peace of mind to have. <clears throat> and it tells me how far I walked, how many calories I burnt. I will show you guys when we get back from this tree here. Finally made it down here to him. Where's it at, May May? On a pretty good sized tree here. I'm gonna get up here. Shine this side of the tree. Look at that, mate. <laughs> Looks like I can see the tree a little bit better down here in the creek, so going back down there. Finally got the coon to look down here. I was blowing on this coon coon squalor. Seen it looking down. But there it is. There's the coon. I'm gonna go in here and pet him up and get him out of here. They've done a good job. Took me 32 minutes to get in here and get these dogs. Uh, they're a little Harlan. He's following me out. What I was wanting to do is show you guys on this Phoenix 3 how to get back to the truck. Hit track back. Only got so many hands trying to show you that, but it shows your way back to your truck. You just follow that line on the new watches. It even shows you a map. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys another Kentucky Cooner tip of the night. As you can tell, I only got May on a lead strap. Harlan is semi following us back to the truck, but he's doing a lot of hunting too. He's up and down the creek, out in the fields, doing all kinds of things like that. And if you got them on a lead strap this young, teaching them how to lead, they could miss out on tree and a coon. 
May has treated a lot of coons like that. Harlan has treated coons like that. It does no good to put a dog on a lead strap. A pup, especially when you're out here in these deep woods, you can let them hunt herself back to the truck. And sometimes they'll get a coon treed. There's nothing like it. So that's your Kentucky Cooner tip number two of the night. Let's get back to the truck. Good girl, mate. Come here, Harlan. Come here, Harlan. Come on. Get in here. Load up. Load up. Load up. Good boy. Good boy. Get in there. Show y'all how to get a pup to load. There ain't a whole lot to it. Get in there, boy. Good boy. Good boy. A little encouragement. Good boy. That was an absolute trip. Thank goodness I brought this Diet Coke. I'm gonna stop the watch here. Made it back to the truck. Go down here and hit save. And it'll give us the stats from the walk we just done there. It says I have Walked 1.18 of a mile. I burnt 610 calories. It took 49 minutes and 33 seconds to get in and get out. And I walked an average of 1.4 mile an hour. And I'm going to get in the truck, ease back up the hill, go find another place to put them on the wood. I just got up here to where I'm going to turn loose again. I'm going to turn May and Harlan again. I'm gonna try to get that other pup I got out, uh, Honey. Let her go with him if she wants to go. If not, let's put her back up in the truck. I'm gonna get out here and get him turned loose again. Y'all can probably hear the dogs there. Harlan and May have struck in and they're 185 yards. Honey is 131. It showed here on the dog truck she just barked. Maybe she's trying to get in there to them or something. You can see them all right there. There's May and Harlan and right there's that female honey. Hopefully she gets in there and runs a track with him. Hundred and seventy three yards are hooking around. Honey is hundred and fifty. She's trying to head to them. She's never been coon hunting before. They got a good track and I'm gonna get in the truck because they are headed toward a road. It's not a busy road, nothing to really worry too much about, but you never know. Right there's where I'm parked. There's the dogs. I can hear them running in there. But you can see how close they are to a road and a bunch of houses. And we can measure the distance real quick. They're only 281 yards from danger. That's why I drove around here. I'd like to see them just fall a tree right there and I can walk through there and get them. I've drove around here on the blacktop now. I'm sitting in front of an empty house and there's kind of houses all around me. I don't like that too much, but there's the dogs. They're 320 yards. Both the dogs are now treed 285 yards away. I'm 
gonna try to get in and out of here about as fast as I can get. So let's get in there. About to make it to the dogs here. I've got in here as fast as I can move. Parked up on the side of the road next to them houses. I don't like stuff like that very well. Spend too much time here. I'm gonna get these dogs and get back up into the truck. I just got me and Harlan loaded in the truck. I got in there and out. I really didn't shine the tread, just flipped my light up in it and hoping. Maybe I'd sit real quick, but like I said, I'm parked. Right there's a house. House. House behind me. I mean, houses are everywhere, so. They got out of pocket on me. I got them and put them in a truck. Let's go to another place. Try it again. I'm gonna get Ranger and Honey out. Try it again. Ranger's about 550 yards, going on 600 yards or something. He's dropped in to the main creek of this place I'm hunting. I can't hear him, so I'm going to try to drive out this field here a little bit closer to him where I can hear him. Well, the good news is I just heard the Ranger open up. I'm not sure how far he is away, but a little over 500 and some drive out this field to him. They've cut some trees out of here since I've been in here. Used to have a pretty good road going out through here, but not anymore. Boy, I like the sound of that. As I was pulling in here, I got a notification on my Pathfinder that Ranger's treed. You guys should be able to hear him in there treeing. He's 285 yards. I'm gonna get honey out of the truck. Head in there, see if we can find us a coon. 191 more yards to go. Forgot to tell you guys, honey really didn't go anywhere and I ended up putting her back in the truck. So that's why I got her out. 180, straight down a mountain. Right here's the old man. This tree, all this, this tree goes up to a bunch of cedars. You can't get a light in nothing. Here's what I'm looking at, guys. All around the tree. Trees all look very big. It runs into a bunch of cedars everywhere. It's just a big mess. What? I'm gonna get him and head on back up to the truck. What do you think about it, buddy? Huh? Can't help where you tree at. But there's the mess. Right little tree goes into. You can't get around it, shine it. 
Tiger baiting. That's part of coon hunting. I ain't it, Ranger? Hey. Is that part of the coon hunting? Huh? Man. I'm soaking wet. Whew. It's cool out. I'm burning up. I just got Ranger loaded back up in the truck and honey. Got both of them in there. And I'm hot. I was going to try to check the temperature right now. It's 1.33 in the morning. I ain't connected my watch to my Garmin uh, app on my phone to see what the temperature change is. But This hunt was lit with the brand new Bright Eyes Fusion. I went to four trees tonight. I went to a, a den tree. Went to a tree, seen a coon. Next tree was uh, behind some houses. So got in and got out. This tree right here, couldn't get a light in it. And bow season is in for deer. And uh, they got some other land that I normally hunt down here. Uh, gated off and leased off for the deer hunting. So we'll let them get their little fix and come back down here and I'll be able to get back out there and hunt some more. But I'm tired. I got about an hour and a half drive home. I want to thank you guys for watching. If y'all need any hunting supplies, go on over and visit my website. It's KentuckyCoonerHuntingSupply.com. Thanks for watching Kentucky Cooner, where there's a little less talk and a lot more action. Until next time, put them on the wood.